Ooh. Jeans. 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 Why jeans? Oh, this angle. Oh, this angle. <laughs> I'm actually so excited. anything awkward as much as I want to okay hey guys it's Nat G here welcome back to my channel so today's video is about jeans denim 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 what's Dina's favorite part of Mario Brothers denim 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 I'm always on the hunt for a good jean I usually struggle with this jeans I typically wear are from forever 21 and Zara they just tend to fit well but what I'm noticing is, is the quality is lacking. With Forever 21 jeans, with a couple of washes, they're getting looser, um, as well as fading, which tends to happen with a lot of jeans, but they're relatively new, so it kind of sucks. I usually expect my jeans to last about a year or so before that kind of fading happens. And with my Zara jeans, the thighs always rub out. They're the best fit of jeans, and they're actual denim. But without fail, it does not matter how long I've had these jeans for. The thighs start to rub out after a couple of months. So, Tyler looks at me, because I was like, oh, I gotta go to the mall and go pick up some more jeans. And he's like, but you always have problems with the same jeans. They always rub out in the thighs, time after time. So he's like, why would you keep buying them? And I'm like, very true. So I decided that I was gonna order from Fashion Nova and try some of their jeans. I also, when I did my vacation haul, if you haven't seen that, I'll put a little icon either here or here so you can watch that. I actually added some denim to that order too since I was placing the order anyways and it wasn't for that many things. I was like, you know what, let's try some of their denim too. So today is a try on haul of just denim. So let's go and try on denim number one. I'm gonna do the Boohoo stuff first because I feel like Fashion Nova, everyone knows it's supposed to be a good jean. I haven't tried it, but everyone knows it's supposed to be a good jean, so I'm gonna save the best for last. So let's start with the Boohoo denim number one. So denim number one is these, is these, wow. <laughs> denim or jean number one is these blue who, blue who? I can't talk today. Is these blue Boohoo denim pants. But yeah, this is what they look like. I'll insert a picture of what they look like on boohoo.ca. And the size I got was 10. I'm usually a 10, and because these were supposed to be stretchy, I thought, let's go with a 10. The only thing I don't like is like when I stretch enough, I can actually like see through the denim, so I don't know about that. But yeah, they're supposed to be stretchy, so I got a size 10 to try them out. So let's go try them on and see how they fit. I said I'll be right back, but I realized I could just try them on on camera. <laughs> yeah. Just hide your booty from me or Natalie. They're a little snug. Like, I'm not feeling the stretch right now. <sighs> okay, now I can. Yeah. <sighs> Shove them up. Oh, but my butt looks great. They look nice. I like them. My only thing is, is I feel like a little low crotchetosis happening. And by low crotchetosis, I mean like the crotch is low. Like it's like here. My vagina is not here. Like, let me be very clear. My vagina is about. So I feel like we have like an inch of crotch that could be a little bit higher. But I feel like when I pick these out, the girl wearing them, she was black. But that has nothing to do with it, but she looked like she had a similar body shape to me. Um, yeah. It's like, I feel like, okay, I'm just gonna do a couple like strides and see how they fit. Yeah, like right here feels like low crotchetosis. It feels like I'm gonna be pulling them up all day, no matter what, even if I wear a belt. Yeah, and it won't go any higher like hold on. Yeah, so they're nice they look nice. They're not comfortable um, 
That's what I want to say about that. Uh, maybe if I got a different size, because like I said, this is a 10. Maybe if I got like a 12, they might fit a bit better, but I'm probably in denial about the fact that I'm a 12. Like these fit, it's just, I don't think they're made for the curviest 10. So that's something to keep in mind, but they look good. Like it's not like I'm not gonna wear them because they actually look very good. I just can feel like my thighs right here rubbing together. Like if that makes any sense at all, like the skin. Yeah, but no, they're nice. Like my butt, that butt looks great. And I'm surprised that Boohoo would have such like a nice denim for the booty, but it's just not made well for the crotch area. I can, I can tell. These will not be like a favorite go-to. These will be when everything else is dirty. This is what I'll put on. Uh, which is a shame because they look nice, and it's not like you can notice that there's a crotch issue, it's just that I feel it, and I'm uncomfortable. So, probably not wearing them. Let's move on to Boohoo Denim number two. Boohoo Denim number two is again a number 10 jean, but these ones are black. They're supposed to be high-waisted. Yeah, high-waisted, classic stretch suit skinny jeans. I couldn't say that. Um, and again, yeah, 10. Try these on. I feel like these aren't as stretch as they're saying stretch. Like stretch is in the name, but it's a lie. This one definitely suffers from low crotch doses again. Like I didn't even put them all the way up. But I just feel like I'm standing like this. And you know what I don't like? I can already tell because these have, I got these a while ago, since so before my vacation. So these have just been sitting on the floor of like my closet, and there's lint all over them. So it is like it's a, it's a denim it's not like a fabric and I get it that denim yeah like I'm standing here talking to you with my pants and this like denim um, has like grooves in it but this almost is like a corduroy groove like it's so deep that there is definitely lint everywhere these ones are super high but like look Again, this is like a 10. So the same 10 I just had on that looked like it was a bit too tight. It's loose up here, tight in the thighs. So you think a size 10 is like literally a 10 at the waist and a 10 to the thighs all the way down. I think that's where the problem is, is because even back here, like I'm obviously I have to wear a belt, but like they're not super flattering. Which is the problem I run into for most jeans, is that I have a smaller waist, and that's why I also wanted to order from Fashion Nova, is because we know that other models look like... We'll see about those. I don't really want to have to place another order, because basically I just ordered two pairs of jeans that are kind of not useless, but I can already tell, like, the thought... Like, they said stretch. They need to redefine stretch, because yes, there may be stretch in it, but these are not stretching to my thigh, like, whatsoever. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Kind of disappointed. I didn't expect a lot, but they both looked good on their respective models, so it's kind of like, are you lying to me? Is this false advertisement? I need to put on my I need to speak to our manager wig because <laughs> boohoo, you're good for so many things, but I think jeans missed the mark because I DK. It's probably looking, again, great on camera, but there's just little things that I see when looking at them that they're not that flattering. And again, I'm gonna wear them because I bought them. But do I love them? No. And these ones don't make my butt look as good. My butt looks kind of saggy and sad. I don't want a sad booty, do you? No, I don't think so. My nose always runs when I have to film. I don't know what that's about, but here we are. My next jeans are the Fashion Nova jeans. So these I got in an 11 because their sizes were different than Boohoo's and they had odd sizes instead of even. When I used their sizing chart, an 11 sounded like what I was going to be, so I was just like, you know what, let's just be safe, go with the 11. The ones that I have first are their like super high-waisted, like blue, like skinny denim. <laughs> I don't even know what the name is, but yeah. We're going to start with these. They already feel super soft. And this is my fear, is that this is more of a jegging than a jean. Like, I like jeggings as much as the next person, but like sometimes you need like real denim. And that's why I love Zara jeans, is because they're denim, 
but there's stretch in them. Like, it's thick. I can wear them in wintertime and not be freezing, um, and they'll still hold true to like a denim, where something like a jegging will fade because it's not real denim. So, let's see. Oh. oh, they're super comfy. And they don't have crotchitosis, low crotchitosis. They don't have that at all. I felt that go right in there. <laughs> you know when it, whoop. But yes, it's definitely more of a jegging, but so far they feel super nice. Um, and they are high-waisted. I hate when people say like high-waisted, but it's like here. No, I need it to be under my boots. Like here. They look good. I'm gonna lose my tummy soon. So these things will be a little bit more flattering, but they're good. This is comfortable. Like this, I can already feel the difference between the last two pairs of jeans. I was so uncomfortable. I feel like these are already gonna be an everyday jean. And I really didn't want to like them because they're Fashion Nova. And after my Fashion Nova boyfriend haul, wearing most of their clothes was shit. Like <laughs> they were all terrible. Like they're, I think I have maybe three pieces from the entire haul that had no problems, like nothing at all, and maybe like two pieces that I can still wear. I spent like a good $200, so mm, if you wanna check out that video, I'll be sure to leave a link here or a link here. The video itself was good, and when I tried on all the clothes, they were good, but they actually did not last like one single wash. None of them, some of them had defects, so I, I really didn't want to buy from Fashion Nova, but I was like, if I am, I'm gonna buy two pairs of jeans, get in, get out, be done. But these are nice. I'm gonna go back for some more jeans. I, like I said, I, these went right where they're supposed to be. It looks good, the color's nice. I hate that they're more of a jegging, so maybe when I go back, I'll go and revisit the difference between these and another denim. But they were affordable enough that if I have to rotate them out, am I really gonna be that mad? Probably not. But they look good. I definitely wear them with the heel, and they're comfortable. I can like. See, I couldn't have done that in the other two. Like, dead serious, I would have just popped a, popped the blood vessel. <sighs> yeah, I like these. And you can, it moves. That's the good thing about a jegging. Everything still moves. So we love, we like these, we like these a lot. The last denim is from Fashion Nova. Again, it's an 11. Yeah, I started taking the tags off and I was like, Maybe I should it when <laughs> I left one on. Um, these are an 11. This is their super high waist denim skinnies. And these are white. I bought them in white because I actually don't have any white jeans that fit. And I kind of like white jeans. Like, obviously not for every day. But there are some times where you're like, I had white jeans, man. This would be a look. I almost am tempted to change my tank top just because of the fact that white on white, I don't know, it's gonna scar me for life or something. No belt loops, I just realized that. So maybe these are more like a pant than a jean. Keep it one, honey. Oh, but they're just as soft and comfy. They're just as soft and comfy, oh gosh. But like, I'm a belt girl, I wear a belt with everything. I wear like literally everything. Like, I would wear a belt with leggings if they came with loops. Oh, I don't even have belt loops to like hoist me up. Did you see I was like, oh, trying to pull myself up? No belt loops. Um, okay, what do I grab onto then? Aww. Okay, they are super high-waisted. Did I get like a thumb or something on there? Yeah. They are super high-waisted. If you have, oh gosh, the tag is like in my butt crack. Okay, great. That's, this is why I was removing all the tags. Like, <laughs> not really. They are super high-waisted. There's things on them. I want to attribute that to the fact that, like I said, I opened everything, made sure it was what I ordered, and put it on my closet floor. So, my fault if anything. Um, but I have a bit of a tummy, so not the most flattering pants. On me, on my butt, butt looks great. And they fit well, like, this is what always scares me about not having a belt, is the back. I don't want the back to be up to here, and not, like, I need a belt. I'm gonna look ridiculous. But they fit well, <laughs> it's just, they're so high-waisted that I look pregnant. How many months? Like, tell me I don't look pregnant. Like, come on guys. This is like my maternity shoot right now. 
just because I've got it. I got tummy. I have, they're not like tummy thing because that's what would have been great, you know. They don't do that. They just kind of you're just putting it over, <laughs> putting it over the tummy. But they look good. I look super thick. I also have a whole bag of milk, you know, box of milk if you're from the U.S. They're good. They're comfortable. I could pop a squat again. No underwear, anything coming out. I will. I am surprised at the fact, though, that their jeans are actually as good as everyone says they are because when people hype it up so much, there's so many celebrity endorsements, you kind of think that no, there's no way. But it is a good, like, cheap jean. We'll see how long they last. Like I said, that's the problem with most jeans is they're great when I put them on. Give it a couple months and there's a problem. The white ones, I obviously, I'm not going to be wearing every day, so I won't have that problem. But those blue jegging type... We'll see how long you do, sweetheart. Oh, and I just realized I left my humidifier on this whole video, so that probably looked hella weird, but that's what that is. That, that's what that is, you know. Gotta keep the moisture in. I realized when going to Mexico, my skin was super dry, and I, my skin cleared up like as soon as I got there. So I'm like, what is it? It can't just be sun. It can't just be one day of sun. And it's because it's so dry here in Canada. So we bought a humidifier, and since then, look at this makeup application. Look at the little colony that used to live on my forehead extinct. I think that's all I have to say for this video. La, 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 la. Wearing all white. I feel like you have to be a certain type of bitch to wear all white. I'm not that bitch. I feel like they look good with like a sweater. Like, like you can't wear all white. Who do you think you are wearing all white? Like something that just kind of falls over the front. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See, we cover it. Guys, spring fashion lookbook coming soon because look what I just did. They're perfect now. All your insecurities are hidden by just a sweater. I'm so happy. Look at this. Okay, yeah, this is cute. I like them more now. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching that video, guys. I just clapped. Thanks so much for watching that video, guys. Be sure to like it. If you did like it, comment down below what your favorite pair of jeans were. If Thanks so much for watching that video, guys. Be sure to like this video by giving it a big thumbs up. If you did like it, comment down below what your favorite pair of jeans are. And if you have any other companies that you suggest I try, please be sure to leave them in the comments down below. And as always, please subscribe to me. It means so much. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.